Okay, hey guys, welcome back to Rusty Rails. I know it's been a while since videos, but I'm sorry. Yes, it's gonna have to bear with me. Anyway, today we are gonna be looking at this pretty cool wireless airbrush. Is this a game changer? Let's find out. Okay guys, welcome back to Rusty Rails. Once again, I am sorry that it's been a while, but anyway, this video all about if this is really a game changer or if it's just a cheap Chinese little product that is a one hit wonder. Before we get started, I just need to say thank you to Rocket Railways for sponsoring this video. So make sure you check them out because they are the ones that keep these videos coming. Rocket Railways for all your model railway needs. And also these are the guys that are gonna be hosting a brand new model railway event for the first time ever, which you're not gonna wanna miss because we here at Rusty Rails are gonna be hosting. So yeah, that's going to be a, a fun one for us, but I'd love to see you guys there. Make sure you check out the description below, not only for the Rocket Railways website, but also for the Model Railway Show website. Um, yeah, links are all below. Let's get on with the video. Alright, so I went to go see my friend Gary Drew. Who is Gary Drew? He is one of the best artists I know. In fact, he actually... Ugh, this is my studio. He painted the picture, like the detail on it is just incredible. So for those that don't know, by the way, Pure Cold is my DJ and producer name, so all those songs you're hearing in the background, they'll all be in the description below, but you can also just type in Pure Cold and you should be able to find it on SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify. This is a Rusty Rails video, not Pure Cold. <laughs> Alright, the airbrush. So I went to Gary Drew and he brought me this, and he said, yo, these these are something you need to be looking at. These are great, not only for touching up projects, but for little fixes. And it all comes in a little box like this. Yeah. Let's see what uh, Gary Drew had to say about the product. Because I said, yo, man, you're trying to sell me this product? You can tell me what 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 it is. I mean, and uh, his work is awesome. It's pretty cool. You don't need a big compressor. It's all impact. That's it as it is, it's got the compressor built in. Pot comes in two sizes, there's a bigger one as well. This goes on forever though, it'll last for ages. It's got two settings on the bottom. So that's like hard, softer, and off. And then um, you've still got more control with the trigger as well to pull back. But it's a nifty bit of kit. And the airbrush, the quality airbrush, considering it's come from China, is amazing. Um, it feels pretty solid, not normally, the all floppy bits and movable bits are all floppy but this is really good quality the charging port is just on the side the actual balance of it is really good um, it is a trigger finger I think there is more now so you can get the um, the finger trigger rather than the trigger trigger spray I'll have a go show you the, um, the actual detail of the, the how much did you uh, pay for it I'm not quite sure I can't remember so it's a really good smooth, unbelievable really, the quality of the line. It's, um, the, the ink is, well, the paint that I'm using is probably a lot thinner than what I'd, I'd normally use. But it's just for the uh, demonstration. That stock, this is as, as it came in the box. Um, there is a lot of different models now and um, this is just the one that I, I saw on the um, the advert um, I've ordered two because the battery life on it is possibly about um, two one to two hours depending how much you're using it um, and then there's recharging is the same one to two hours so I figured if I had two of them while one was while one was charging, I could um, spray with the other one. You prefer your triggers, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I had carpal tunnel trouble with my finger. So, so that, now you've used uh, Iowatas. Uh, oh, well, the Devilbis, Iowata, everything. Um, how would this stack up to these multi-hundred pound guns? Amazing. It's really amazing. I, and it's like just for touching up or um, even doing a, a, a job I wouldn't I've not literally I've just picked it out of the box I've never used it before this is a very first time and I'm just absolute ju just doodling so there's nothing so you call that a doodle 
<laughs> yeah, this is just... I, I, I'd, uh... yeah, I'd never be able to do that. So, the cleaning out process, how different is it compared to an uh, other airbrush? Um, I, I'm not quite sure, because it's that's electric in itself, and I, I don't know whether you can get this wet. Um, but I'm just... Can you not unscrew that and clean you, it separately? You could, but I tend to... Um, when I clean stuff, I'll fill it up with water there and then... And then fire it through. Yeah, spray it through. So, I mean, just look at that for quality. I mean, it's just something else and it's so easy to clean. And this is how it comes. It comes in this nice little box. This had two brochures, but he bought, like I said, two airbrushes, so maybe... Yeah, um, it comes with two uh, pot sizes. The the compressor is really nice in itself sort of thing. It's got the, the high speed mode and the low speed uh, mode. And this is what I mean, that's the airbrush done. And for me, as all these wires and it's just a big complicated mess. Um, right, let's go testing this thing. So I filled it up uh, with a little bit of paint and it was really splattery for me and I think there was some dried stuff in so you're gonna see a bit of a, a cut now. And it's like, this is now actually a few weeks later. Now it's a little dark because I'm trying to see if there is a light, but I could not find a light for whilst it's charging. The red is for low power, but it should be red as well. And there's just nothing for when it's charging. So I don't know if that's a fault or a glitch, I don't know. But it did get very, very hot to the touch, as in like really, really hot. So anyway, cleaned it all. I left it charged for a while and uh, eventually the heat went and yeah I managed to do this and in terms of airbrush I mean it's an airbrush that works well like Gary said you know it stands up or holds up to other brands this is full power and this is half power so half the amount of PSI I think it is and you can see that's really great if you're a bit worried about being a bit trigger heavy this diorama remember this the canal pilot video this is my test track so I was like you know what if it gets like messy and I don't care this is my scrap piece of uh, track and you can see it's awesome uh, because you've got no wires like dangling out the bottom you you literally just point and spray and it is like so easy to be able to just touch up an area so this is something I definitely recommend as for cleaning like Gary does you put your finger on an end and you bubble it and you just keep rinse and repeat literally and when you are doing that and there's no more black bubbles there's pretty much clean <laughs> i think he said he paid about 40 uk pound for this and then 10 pound shipping so for 50 pound that's great i was looking on aliexpress and there are other ones for about the same price and um, i think you type in the hetu 80 and it's actually got a replaceable battery so i think that might be the one i go for i don't know if i'm gonna buy it so uh, stay tuned for that because I'll probably update you guys with that. But in the next video, I'm going to use this weathering a loco. Why didn't I do that in this video? Because I recorded this a couple of days ago and I've been umming and ahhing about do I want to risk a very nice sound fitted DCC logo with something uh, literally a quarter of the price from China. Do I risk it? I think we do. Make sure you stay tuned for that one because I'm excited to see how it goes. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I like the shorter videos so let's try and keep it that way. I'm Pure Cold. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.